Hey guys, welcome back here. They've released the uh, top goalies and the top D man and the top right wings and the top left wing for NHL 17. So we'll go back into this game for one quick sec. Look at this. I gave him a freebie because I kind of got a freebie in the, in, uh, one of the goals I scored. So I just scored a goal on myself and there brought him go, back buddy. in the game. But anyways, freebie. Freebie. we'll talk about the uh, there you go, bud. Get top right uh, there you go. goalies Feel they better? put into the game. Look at that. And, uh, there you go, bud. We'll start at number 10, there you guys. Go, buddy. And uh, I'm actually kind of... <laughs> Disappointed in some of the the pickings they picked for the top rating players. So, further ado, the top goal is they have at number ten. Ben Bishop is at number ten, and I'm like, I'm kind of disappointed. Why they put Ben Bishop number ten? He should have been a little higher, but they have him rated at 89 overall. And number nine, Tuka Rask is at number nine, guys. Tuka Rask is at number nine. And I can see that a little bit. Flurry, number eight, he's at number eight, yeah, and uh, overall 90. And number seven, I'm kind of shocked that he should have built up a little higher because he's played really, really good for Chicago, is Corey Crawford. They haven't up at 90 he got a boost at a uh, plus two so he was 88 overall last year now he's at 90 but he should have been up a little bit higher than that i think he's number three or yeah three or four but anyways we'll let that go um peckett renee number six no i don't understand how he has number six because he had an awful year like he was brutal right so they have number number six at 91 overall and I don't get this. They have Corey Snyder at number five, guys. Number five. I don't know what he is thinking. Maybe he he's promoting something for them. I don't know. I have I'm totally shocked. I have no idea. But number five is Corey Snyder. He's rated at 91. And number four, Henrik Lundqvist, another goalie that was terrible in the playoffs. Like if you guys seen how he played in the playoffs, it was just absolute brutal. And it's not because it was all his fault. It's just I say about sixty percent of us say it was fault, and the rest was his team. But you can't be letting in like five, six goals a game. Um, they have him at number four, ninety-two overall. Now this guy should be number two, number two or number one at least. Braden Holpe, they have him at a ninety-two overall, and I can understand that. John Quick should not be number two. I would probably put number two, Ben Holpe, number three, um, Crawford. Right? But that's just me. But anyways, they have John Quick at 90, 93 overall, number two. And number one goalie. You know what? I'm not even going to be arguing with this. Cause this guy was played really well until he got injured. The man, future Hall of Famer, going to come up very soon when he's done playing hockey. Carey Price, they have number one, rated at 93 overall. And lots of goalies. Now, guys, let me know down in the comments what you think. I'll leave the uh, link down below so you can check them out yourself for all the rated for goalies, defense, right wingers, and left wingers. So far, they have up on uh, EA for NHL 17. These are the ratings they're going to have for the players for next year. So I'll leave a link down below. You can check it out if you wanted to just to see what, what you think. And let me know what, who you th think you should be in there that shouldn't be in there or... If you agree with what EA is doing here, I don't know. But that's just for the goalies. We're going to the uh, the defense now. The defense, I was shocked. I thought some other guys should have been up here, but that's just me. They have number ten at. No further ado, Dustin, Big Buff, Bufflin, and they have him at ninety-one overall, which I, I'm I'm okay with that, I guess. Um, number nine, PK Subban, Nashville Predators, 91 overall. 
not too complaining about that one. Um, Mark Andre uh, Vlasic at 91 overall, number eight on the list. Now this guy, I don't understand how he's not higher. Victor Heaven they have a number seven, 92 overall. He should be a lot higher, just in my opinion. Brent Burns, okay, yeah, he had a, a pretty good year. They have him at number six, 92 overall. And then they have number five, Eric Carlson, 92 overall, number five on the list. Now this one I don't understand. I don't know how this guy's up here, but maybe they just want to put a change in there. I'm not too sure. But number four on the list, Ryan Suter. I'm not a big fan of him, but I'm just saying I don't think he should be up that high, in my opinion. I think another guy should have been up there, right? He had a hell of a career for, well, the, that season had a really good... Uh, Season for Chicago last year. Uh, Brent Seabrook when Duncan Keith was injured. I don't think Duncan Keith should be up there that high, but that's just me. I think he should be like a 92, maybe number 6 on the defensive list, but we'll let that go. Um, yeah, they have Duncan Keith at number 3, 93 overall. And this one, I'm, I'm baffled by this one. I don't know what they were thinking. Shea Weber, 94 overall. Number two on the list. He was absolute garbage on the playoffs. Like, that's another reason why the Nashville Predators didn't do very well. Because he was just brutal. But we'll let that go. You know, nothing we can really do about it. It's EA gets to do what they want. It's their game. But number one, Drew Downey, 94. Yes and no. I. Th it's kind of hit and miss. He did win the uh, defensive uh, award for, um, for defensemen. So... But anyways, that's it for the defense. And let me know what you thought or what you think that should have happened. And I don't know. We'll go into the uh, next category, guys. Um, like I said, leave a comment down below what you think. Um, I wasn't too happy with their, their ratings. So we'll go into left winger ratings right now. Now, this is left wingers, guys. Projected what they were going to be, what they're going to be at for next year. Okay, starting number ten. Alex Steen, 88 overall. I can't really say he was that bad or it wasn't that good, but it's it is what it is. Okay, and they have Gabriel Landerskog at number nine, 88 overall. Okay, not too bad. Okay, now number eight, they have Philip Forsberg. He played lights out for Nashville. He should have been a little higher, in my opinion. But that's Philip Forsberg, okay, guys? He's that number 8. 88 overall. A lot of these guys are at 88. And number 7, Daniel Sedin. Another player at 88 overall. Um, didn't really think he played that great this year, uh, last year, but maybe I missed something. Maybe I'm not watching a lot of their games. But, yeah, they have him at number 7. Now, Zach Parise is at number 6. 89 overall, so he didn't really get too much of a boost. I think he got like a maybe a one if I'm correct um, 89 overall number six on the list and number five on the list Max Pacioretty at 89 overall by the Montreal Canadiens um, Montreal had a really terrible year other than Gary Price saving them. He didn't score a lot of goals So I don't know how he's so high in the list, but maybe I'm missing something. I'm not too sure So he's at number five on the list 89 overall by the Montreal Canadiens, guys. And number four, Johnny Hockey, Johnny Goodrow. Big, big boost from la last year. Um, so they must have been thinking that he did, he's going to have a hell of a career um, to come and a lot of good seasons to uh, come. So they have him at number four, 90 overall. Plays in the Calgary Flames. And number three, they have Taylor Hall from the New Jersey Devils. He's at number three, 90 overall. And number two, which I'm shocked he's not number one, but okay, we can't really argue too much, is Alex Ovechkin, 94 overall, number two on the list, and number one on the list, guys. This guy just sniped me. Good goal on his part. Great goal. Um, number one on the list, Jamie Benn. Got a huge upgrade, so 
congrats to him. I don't disagree with um, either being number one or two, but that was a good, good, uh, good pick. Um, 94 overall, and that's for left wingers. Like I said, guys, let me know down below what you think on each category, who you think should have got a higher grade, and uh, who shouldn't be on the list, or who should be on the list. Let me know what you guys think. Now that's for left wingers. We're going to right wingers right now, guys. Like I said, I'll leave a link down below what uh, of uh, who they are too, so that way you don't miss out or you know whatever. So we're going to left wingers right now, and you already know who's gonna be number one for left or right wingers. For right wingers we're going into. Um, you already know who's gonna be number one, hands down. You already know who who the man's gonna be. But we'll go start at number ten for right wingers for NHL 17, James Neal. For the National Predators, they have him rated at 88 overall. Okay. Must have had a pretty good year, so I'm guessing I'm not going to really disagree too much about that. Number 9. Um, I do pronounce, if I do pronounce his name wrong, I do apologize. Um, Nick, Nick uh, Kucherov. Um, hell of a good player. Played really good for Tampa Bay. He's at 88 overall and number 9 on the list. Now this one... I don't understand how they can put this guy on the list. He's been declining for the last couple seasons. And yes, I'm a Hawks fan, but this guy should not be on the list. I'm sorry, guys. He should not even be in the top 10. Maybe top 20, maybe top 30. I don't know what they were thinking. There could have been a lot more guys that played a lot better. But they have him rated at 88 overall, Marion Hosa. And number 7, which... This guy should be a little higher. Had a really good, good year last year. Blake Wheeler of the Winnipeg Jets. He's at 89 overall, number seven on the list. Now this guy finally won a Stanley Cup, and all hats to him. Phil the Thrill Kessel is at number six on the list, 89 overall. Took a bit of a hit on the uh, overall, probably because of the regular season, but playoffs he came down. He was. Their MVP of their team, in my opinion, next to the goalie. Um, yeah, and number five on the list. I don't understand how this guy was up there because he didn't really play that well. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know if, down in the comments if I'm wrong. Um, Jacob Forcheck. Um, they have him rated at 90 overall, and he's number five on the list. Now this guy didn't play that well either. Like I don't understand how these guys are putting these guys up on the list and rated overall really well. Um, number four, Corey Perry. They have him rated at 91 overall from the Anaheim Ducks. Ducks didn't really have a good year the, last year. They were terrible. Their stars did not play very well for them, but maybe they're thinking maybe how he played at the very end. I don't know, but I'm just thinking if you're going to be on the list, you should be playing good all year long. But anyways, guys, number three on the list. This guy should have been number two on the list, in my opinion. Number two on the list. Because he had a hell of a friggin' year last year. Is Joe Pravelski. They have him rated at 91 overall. And went to the Stanley Cup final. And carried his team on his back. But anyways, we'll go to the cover boy. Number two on the list, Vladimir Tarasenko. He's at 93 overall. Number two on the list. Had a hell of a uh, playoff run against Chicago. Pretty much single-handedly destroyed them. And, yeah, so number one on the list, the MVP, and from Chicago Blackhawks, Patrick Kane.